गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे इज एट मार्च 2020 and in this video we are going to see all the important current affairs from 8th march our first question is who has been recently appointed as the new finance secretary of india answer is option number 1 ajay bhushan pande ajay bhushan pande is an ias officer from 1984 batch and he recently has been appointed as the new finance secretary of india before him rajiv kumar was the finance secretary of india but recently on 18th february 2020 he has been retired as the finance secretary now ajay bhushan pande will be the new finance secretary of india answer is option number 1 next question which state government has announced to provide a financial assistance to the farmers for keeping stray cattle in their homes answer is option number 3 uttar pradesh recently uttar pradesh chief minister yogi adityanath has announced that the up government has decided to provide financial assistance of 900 per month to those farmers who are ready to keep stray cattle at their houses and provide them a shelter and there will be option number 3 uttar pradesh uttar pradesh look into the map this is uttar pradesh capital is lucknow governor is anand ben patel and chief minister of uttar pradesh is yogi adityanath the week of march 1 to march 7 is celebrated as dash across the country and there is option number 1 jan aushadi week recently from first March to 7th March 2020 has been celebrated as Jan Aushadi Week in India. It it is being celebrated throughout the country to provide various activities like health checkup camps, free doctor consultation, free medical distribution, etc. Answer is option number one, Jan Aushadi Week. Next question: Which day has recently been celebrated as Jan Aushadi Day in India? Answer is option number three, seventh March recently. 7th march has been celebrated as jan aushadi day in india to create awareness about the use of genetic medicines it was first celebrated on 7th march 2019 answer is option number 3 next question name the person who has been resigned as rbi that is reserve bank of india's deputy governor in the month of march 2020 answer is option number 3 n s vishwanathan n s vishwanathan has been appointed as rbi's deputy governor in 2016 and recently he has been resigned as rbi's deputy governor in the month of march 2020 He was the deputy governor of RBI. RBI is RBI is the Central Bank of India. It was established on 1st April 1935. Its its headquarters is in Mumbai. And currently governor of RBI is Shakti Kant Das. RBI has one governor and four deputy governors. And recently N S Vishwanathan has resigned as the deputy governor of RBI. Currently other three deputy governors of RBI are B P Kanungo. Michael Patra and Mahesh Kumar Jain. Next, what is the rank of India in the pharmaceutical market in terms of volume? Answer is option number one third. Recently, government of India has declared a data, and according to that data, the Indian pharmaceutical market is the world's third largest in terms of volume, and thirteenth largest in terms of value. Also India is the largest supplier of genetic medicines globally. Next question name the Indian city which is going to host the International Olympic Committee that is IOC session in 2023 answer is option number 4 Mumbai Mumbai will host the International Olympic Committee session in 2023 as recommended by IOC executive board and the decision will be approved in the 136th IOC session in Tokyo in july 2020 the ioc session was held in 1983 in new delhi and is going to be held in india after 40 years answer will be option number 4 mumbai next question pragyan conclave 2020 is an international seminar organized by which armed force of india answer is option number 3 indian army pragyan conclave 2020 is an international seminar which was organized on 4th and 5th of march 2020 in new delhi the event aims to bring together across domain national and international experts to deliberate on the complex subject of changing characteristics of land welfare and its impact on the military 
आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इंडियन आर्मी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यूएस प्रेसिडेंट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप हैज डिसाइडेड टू हेल्प हाउ मेनी बिलियन यूएस डॉलर्स टू टैकल द कोरोना वायरस आउटब्रेक आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री एट पॉइंट थ्री बिलियन यूएस डॉलर रिसेंटली यूएस प्रेसिडेंट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप हैज डिक्लेयर एंड एट पॉइंट थ्री बिलियन यूएस डॉलर हेल्प टू टैकल द कोरोना वायरस आउटब्रेक इन यूएस अप टू नाउ ट्वेल्व पीपल वेर डाइट ड्यू टू कोरोना वायरस एंड मोर देन टू हंड्रेड पीपल आर इन्फेक्टेड ड्यू टू कोरोना वायरस आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री एट पॉइंट थ्री बिलियन यूएस डॉलर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम्स हैज बिन ऑर्गेनाइज इन डैश आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू जम्मू कश्मीर रिसेंटली फ्रॉम सेवन टू एलेवेंथ मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम्स आर बींग ऑर्गेनाइज इन जम्मू कश्मीर एट गुलमर्ग एट गुलमर्ग एंड अराउंड नाइन हंड्रेड प्लेयर्स आर टेकिंग पार्ट इन दिस फाइव डे इवेंट एंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू जम्मू कश्मीर दिस इज खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम्स रिसेंटली फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेकेंड फेब्रुवरी टू फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी खेलो इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी गेम्स वेयर ऑर्गेनाइज इन भुवनेश्वर एंड इन दिस गेम्स पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी हैज ओन द मैक्सिमम मेडल्स एंड खेलो इंडिया यूथ गेम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वेयर ऑर्गेनाइज फ्रॉम टेंथ जैन टू ट्वेंटी टू and in this khelo india youth games 2020 maharashtra has won the highest number of medals now answer of the question which was asked in yesterday's video question was india has been ranked at which position in the list of world's largest economies as per imf data answer is option number 2 fifth recently imf has released a report called october world economic outlook and according to this report india has become the fifth world largest economy surpassing france and uk first largest economy in the world is united states second largest economy is china third largest economy is japan and fourth is germany and india is at the fifth position answer will be option number 2 fifth this data has been released by imf imf is international monetary fund it is an international organization of 189 countries it was established on 27th december 1945 its headquarter is in washington dc currently managing director of imf is kristalina georgieva and chief economist chief economist is geeta gopinath now today's question question is which is the world's first country to offer entirely free public transport options are luxembourg canada peru and brazil if you know answer of this question you can write it in the comment section below or we'll discuss this question in the next video